Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we are going to see love and the general for the sign of Gemini for week ahead. So watch this video if you're a Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or if you're dealing with one, keep in mind these are general readings, so it may or may not resonate. If it do not resonate, do not try to deliberately fit in. Check in any other placement. If you want to have a personal reading, link is in the description. If you want to follow my Instagram, the link is in the description. And if you don't already know, I'm a Gemini Sun myself, so hey Gemini. And in case you are wondering what am I doing, I'm just clearing any stagnant energy because I was doing some client readings and uh, it's always good to smudge your cards before starting a new read, you know, so that you can just get rid of any stagnant energy and you can kind of start fresh. So because I am about to do our reading here, so that's why I'm just doing it quickly. Bear with me for a second, you guys. <laughs> I hope you guys are having an amazing January. Uh, and I hope everything is fine. <laughs> so, yeah, let's just get started. We will first start with your oracle messages. And then we'll go to your tarot. All right. So, messages for Gemini for week ahead. What do my Gemini needs to know for week ahead, please? What do my gems need to know for week ahead? Messages for Gemini for week ahead, please. So we have, you are good enough, full moon in Virgo. So Gemini, like, are you even having a doubt that you're not good enough? I feel like nowadays you are contemplating, you might be having some self-worth issues going on. Or maybe somebody did something to you after which you've started doubting your own capabilities all right so i see that this could be in regards to your physical appearance it could be in regards to your skill set it could be anything basically but i see that you are not very confident in your skills and you feel like you are not good enough you know it is always good to work upon ourselves and like elevate in life but this should not come from the fact that we are not good and that's why we have to improve right Change is the constant, change is the only constant of the universe and everybody grows and elevates, but you should not feel like you are any less and that's why you need improvement. You get it? Like do not try to come from that kind of a lack mindset. You need to tell this to yourself over and over again that I am already good enough and obviously I can improve and I can even get better, right? But doesn't mean that I'm not good. I'm already enough and I'm already amazing. And I am going to just keep growing in my journey, right? So that's a very different mindset, basically. Gemini, don't try to, like, listen to stupid people ahead um, around you who might be trying to say otherwise. Like, you are amazing. Like, you are born Gemini. You are, like, already universe's favorite. <laughs> you are already the chosen one. <laughs> yeah, so you are, you are good enough. Some of you, you may be dealing with a Virgo. Give me one more message. A win-win outcome is forecast. And then we have full moon in Libra. So I see that some of you, you might be going through a situation like a competition kind of a thing. Some of it could also be a legal battle. Uh, for others of you, it's just a competition kind of a thing. You know, maybe that's why you're feeling like you're not good enough. You don't know if you're going to win or not. Uh, some of you, it could be a goal that you're working towards and you are like, I don't know if I'm going to like overcome this or what. So I see that not only you're going to overcome that, but you are going to like, like the situation is going to fully support you because we have a win-win outcome is forecast the situation is gonna like support you from all the sides so just have that faith some of you if you are also wondering as to why you are not getting the success yet that is because you have self-worth issues the moment you work up on your self-worth issues and the moment you start feeling good about yourself at the present i see that you will attract this success and this win-win outcome faster okay so your message is that you need to like Write this on like a sticky note somewhere and like affirm this to your yourself over and over again. I am good enough. I am good enough. I am good enough. You can also affirm in the comments. But yeah, you need to remind yourself this thing that I am good enough. Okay? So that is that. Now we will see your tarot messages. Gemini, babies. Oh, Gemini's. Since when you started feeling like you're not good enough, babies? You're amazing already. <laughs> okay? yeah all right give me the present energy for my gemini okay i just want to take kipper messages for you kipper messages because i'm called out to use them and then we'll go to your tarot okay so just give me a second let's see your kipper messages what do my gemini's have coming towards them 
for the week ahead. Kipper, tell me messages for Gemini, please. For week ahead. So we have great fortune, like babies. And we have jurisdiction. Some of you, Gemini, I definitely feel like you are going through some sort of a legal situation. Uh, I see that you will be like, you will be listened to and you are going to get favorable outcomes. Okay, and then we have, can we talk about the great fortune card, please? So we have good money coming towards you, luck supporting you. I see unexpected income coming your way. Some of you, I also see that some sort of hike is going to happen. You are going to make much better money than what you are doing right now. Okay, your fortune is going to increase Gemini in 2023. We also have main male and then we have community. So some of you, there could be a male figure who could be prominent might help you uh, in some sort of way to maybe get out of this legal situation or go towards this great fortune. I don't know what about this. Like it's going to apply differently to different people. So you might know who this main male is and what this person is doing here. <laughs> and then we have community. I see that some of you, you will be recognized really well in your community. Like... You might be one of the trendsetters in the community, in your family, in your community. You might be the one who, you know, kind of gets some sort of exceptional growth or recognition or fame. Like you are going to be a trend breaker, trendsetter in your community. Like things are going to change after you for good. Yeah. So I see that some of you, you might be the one who's going to end the poverty line in your blood. Do you get it? Like maybe your family might have struggled with finances, like your parents your great grandparents but with you everything is going to change because we have great fortune we have community so i see that you might be that turning point in your family so i see that some of you courthouse two times and unexpected income wow <laughs> your money is definitely increasing now obviously this might not happen in the month of january itself like this could be a theme for you in 2023 so gemini is like come back to this video in january 2024 and I see that your finances are going to be really taking off in 2023. Like 2023 is your lucky year, basically. I see that your finances are going to be really, really well. And then we have the courthouse and jurisdiction twice. So a legal situation is going to go in your favor. Okay. All right. Now let's see the present situation for my Gemini, please. Three of cups. Hmm. Some of you, you may be connecting with a water sign. This motherfucking water sign, if pops up in your reading once again, huh, I'm gonna, I don't know, <laughs> I'm gonna do something, Gemini. You have been pulling up the water signs over and over again. Who the fuck is this person that you're messing up with these days? Like, let me know. Let me freaking know. Some of you, you have connected, or I should say reconnected with the water sign in last three days or three, three weeks. Somebody who might have potentially broken your heart. Like this person, uh, some of you could be a water sign or an air sign. So somebody has reconnected with you. And this is the same person who might have potentially broken your heart. They maybe did something, said something or something about them got revealed to you. And it broke your heart in the recent past. And now you've reconnected with them. Or this person has approached you for a reconnection. I also see some sort of celebration happening. Okay. So um, you will have something worth celebrating coming towards you. Some of you, you may be going out with your friends more. Um, you might have made a new friend. <laughs> your social life is improving, basically. <laughs> yeah, so you're coming out of that loner self and you're reconnecting with people, celebrating. Some of you, you may be <coughs> attending a celebration like a wedding or something. Uh, reconnecting with old friends, something about that. What else for my Gemini, please? Seven of Cups. Hmm. You're also very confused regarding something. Um, there is someone or something that is confusing you. Again, we have a water sign card. Some of you, there's a water sign who confuses you. So at one point, you feel like you're done with this person. You're never going to talk to them. And this is just the end. And then they, they appear back and they confuse you. So there might be somebody in your energy who's confusing you a lot. This person is not making a concrete decision about you and things are not moving forward. And you are hell confused about them. You don't know how to drop them. You don't know how to go forward. What else? Some of you, uh, yeah, King of Cups. Again, like, who is this motherfucker, Gemini? Please tell me. It's the same message every week, bitch. Do something new. Do something new, Gemini. Tell me the same message over and over and over and over and over again. I'm sick of you guys. Like, for real. King of Cups, 
Seven of Cups. There's a water sign who confuses the hell out of you. There are feelings, there are emotions, but very less expression. Like this person talks all the shit with you in the world, but will not confront their feelings. And you are like, why is this idiot coming back and telling me stuff, but then not doing anything about it? Sometimes this person talks so friendly to you, you feel like they are almost about to propose you and then they back off. And you're like, what? What is this? Does this person love me? What is happening? Yeah, you're definitely confused by a water sign or maybe another air sign. Yeah, you are in the stuck energy, Gemini. You don't know how to move forward, leaving them behind. You cannot live with them as well. You are confused. You are hanging in their confusion. You are hoping for a shift. You are feeling that it's already 2023. I cannot do this anymore. But then you keep getting confused. <laughs> ah, what else for Gemini, please? Okay, what is this person's feelings towards Gemini? This person on Gemini's mind? Queen of Cups, yeah. You Okay, Gemini, can I tell you something? And I know it's going to be a little harsh for you. But you both are just same idiots, you know? It's like you both have feelings. This person's feelings towards you, Queen of Cups. And then this person, like how you see them, King of Cups. You both are divine counterparts. Like you mirror each other, you know? The problem is, you both cannot even stay together. You don't trust them. You know this person has been confusing you. But then you cannot even leave, let them go. This person, they don't know how to commit to you. But then they, they don't even leave you, you know? It's like the same, the same freaking energy. You both are just hanging in there. This person's feelings towards you, Queen of Cups. They have very deep, passionate, intense feelings towards you, but no expression. This person wants to keep you secret. They don't want to confront. They don't want to make it official yet. But they have feelings. They do. This person's next action, like, they haven't made you official but they feel for you. But when you ask for the ring, you're like, where's my ring? This person's like, what ring? What are you talking about? And then you're like, ah, what? Aren't you the one who came back? And then they ghost you. This person's next action towards Gemini beings. This person on Gemini's mind, their next action towards Gemini. This person's next action towards Gemini. Nine of Cups. Just like look at the, the amount of Cups card we have here already. One, two, three, four, five. If this is not a water sign, then who the fuck is this? It's a water sign, Gemini. It's a water sign. We have only two different cards and all the other are water. And if you see the last video of Gemini, it was the same thing. Freaking water sign cards. Ah. Their next action towards you is the Nine of Cups. A wish is being granted. Something that you want them to do, they will do it for you. For some of you, they, they might propose. They might make you an offer, you know? Because we have the Six of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. This person might actually confront now to you finally. After all the game playings, after everything, they might finally do it. Nine of Cups. Their next action towards you. Wish fulfillment. Getting what you want. Manifesting love. I see your love life is improving though. Like with this person, the situation is going to get better. Even if they don't put the ring on your finger in the coming week, I see things are going to get a little better from what it is right now. Yeah, two of Cups. There's a love offer coming in, Gemini. Again, a cup card. Stop it, Gemini. <laughs> Stop it. Two of cups and two of ones. <coughs> in next two weeks, uh, two weeks to two months time, actually, I see somebody is going to make you an offer. Like, from trying to keep you a secret, not confronting their love to you and all of that, I see finally somebody is going to put that ring on your finger. I see that. 
there's going to be an open confrontation of love. Two of Cups is actually a very balanced energy. I see for now, things are very one-sided. Like, you want the commitment. They don't want the commitment. They have been trying to keep it as a secret. And you are, like, kind of done with their shit. Some of you, you don't even trust them anymore. So that's why you're very apprehensive. This person confuses the hell out of you, Seven of Cups. But I see in next two weeks to two months, somebody's going to make it official. And we had the card of win-win outcome. Some of you, Gemini, the problem is when we don't have self-worth you know when we feel like we are not good enough or we feel like somebody is better than us or we put somebody on a pedestal we kind of take our power you know we take our power and give it to someone else so some of you the problem why this person has been drifted away from you and why this person like keeps on coming back and then leaving and then coming back and then leaving is also because you have some sort of self-doubt within yourself which gets reflected upon this person and there's a tiff I'm not saying that this person is not an idiot. They are. But I see you also need some inner work to be done so that you can have this connection fully attracted towards you. Right now, you somewhere feel like this person is not approaching you because there is something wrong within you. So when you keep on dwelling from that negative mindset, you feel like there is something not good within you. Maybe you don't look a certain way. You don't make a certain kind of money. You don't have something. And that's why this person is doing whatever they're doing. Um, you are actually coming from a lack mindset and you are attracting more of it back. This is one reason that this person keeps ghosting you. You need to completely own your power, Gemini. You have to energetically prove to this person that you be in my life or you don't be in my life, I don't give a shit. And I'm still as good enough. I'm good enough with you. I'm good enough without you. I don't care. That's the kind of mindset that you need to come from. But I see... A love offer and a very solid one coming in. I see that in... And this is coming from somebody who has been playing games with you. Yeah. This has this person has been very non-consistent in the past. And they are now becoming more consistent. But for that, you also have to like level up in your energy. And you need to stop telling yourself that you are not good enough. Do you get it? I see there's a fresh start coming between the two of you. Somebody is going to put in serious efforts towards you yeah okay what will be the outcome between gemini and this person though outcome yeah knight of pentacles i see slowly and steadily um things are going to get better after all the drama that you have been having with this person for last five seven months i guess things are gonna get better they will go towards stability finally this has been a long, long cycle that you've had with this person because I'm doing your readings. It's been quite a while. This ghosting game and this coming and going and all of that. I see in the past this person had proposed to you but they, they flipped. At some point in the past this person did make you an offer but then they flipped. I see that. This person is again making you an offer. Two weeks to two months. I see that. A clear communication coming your way. All right, let's, uh, let's take for people who are not interested in a past person and they want something new towards them. So my single Geminis, what is coming towards them in love? A new person, a new love, anything new coming towards my single gems. Uh, Queen of Pentacles, there could be an earth sign that's coming towards you or somebody very wealthy. So for my single Geminis out there, there is someone wealthy, somebody who has their shit together, businessman, businesswoman kind of a person coming towards you. Somebody who's not broke. Yeah. Three of Pentacles. This person could be a co-worker. Or some of you, this person would meet you through work. I don't know. Somebody who's very busy as well. I see that your next person is going to be very rich. And very busy, of course. <laughs> but yeah, I see I see something good coming towards you. And this might actually happen in next three months or so. For my single Geminis. Yeah, but for that Gemini, you need to come out of this negative mindset. This dwelling and this, I'm not good enough. Or whatever you need to come out of that mindset and then things will happen for you i see that you keep on living in the same kind of drama and you expect change if you do the same thing you will live the same life if you want a different life you need to do different things you need to move differently okay all right give me a message for gemini please messages for gemini yeah wedding <laughs> and love yourself first yep gemini the same thing that i was telling through the entire reading you freaking need to work on your self-worth issues, your self-respect. 
you have not been respecting yourself lately you need to work upon that the moment you will bring that love back to yourself that you have been foolishly spending on this non available idiot and that's why this person has been running away from you this person will make you an offer you accept it or not is your choice but i see somebody is going to come correct this person is going to come with a love offer a wedding proposal somebody is going to put that ring on your finger but for that you need to bring that self worth back right now your self worth is under the ground buried under the ground <laughs> in its grave hmm. <laughs> i give you a message for gemini to close up the reading will you marry me okay. uh, what i'm sorry for being so, like what like how can we have will you marry me in wedding gown like, is this a joke it's not is it a coincidence it's not somebody is going to be apologetic for being an idiot the moment you take your power back gemini will you marry me wedding card there's a freaking marriage proposal coming your way somebody wants to put that ring on your finger but for that you need to treat yourself as a motherfucking princess or prince or an emperor or empress stop playing small stop putting people on a pedestal put yourself on that pedestal okay and i see the moment you do it this person is going to make you an offer somebody wants to marry you you want it or not your choice all right so that's your reading i hope this helps and resonate if it does make sure you subscribe like share comment i will see you very soon in the next video you guys take care stay safe bye